Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about the latest infectious disease outbreak, and it's in the United States. It's a diarrhea illness caused by a parasite called Cyclosporia, and it's an interesting uh, story because this is a parasite infection. Um, it's been identified causing infections in up to 17 states at this point. Um, it's not something that you can find on a regular stool test. You have to specifically ask for it, so there may be multiple cases that were not diagnosed because the clinicians did not ask for the specific testing. So if you had a diarrhea illness and we did the routine ova and parasite uh, testing, it would not show up. So we would have told you we don't have a cause for your diarrhea. Uh, Iowa has the most cases. It's in Illinois. It's as far north as the Canadian border and as far south as Texas and Florida. Uh, there's been over 400 confirmed cases, but like I said, there's probably many more. Um, what's interesting about this particular infection is it is not spread from person to person. So most infectious diarrhea illnesses, uh, you have the infectious organism in your stool and you contaminate food or whatever you touch and other people touch that and put things in their mouth and then they get the infection. Uh, this particular infection, when you have it in your body, you shed eggs or oocytes in your stool, but they actually take a week or 10 days to incubate. So if you took somebody's contaminated stool, you would not get sick from it. The uh, ova have to be put in water in warm environment and it takes an incubation period before they are able to become infectious so this stuff has to be sitting in the ground somewhere or in water supplies and then getting into the food chain. If you are sick you're not going to get a family member sick because of this incubation period. Uh, we don't know what the cause of it is at this point but it's probably or possibly related to bagged lettuces and the problem is is a couple of the lettuces they've identified uh, have other ingredients like carrots or radishes in them, so it might not actually be the lettuce. It could be one of the other um, vegetables that are in the lettuce. Uh, the FDA is not releasing any information on brands because they're not quite sure, and it may not be a specific brand. As an example, there could be a supplier that gives lettuce to a dozen different branded bag lettuces, and it's not a specific bag of lettuce that's uh, infected, it's the original supplier. So uh, keep posted, I would be careful about eating bagged vegetables. This uh, infection has been associated in restaurants as well, because they obviously will use bagged vegetables or bagged salads as well. Try and wash your foods as you can, obviously wash your hands, um, avoid travel if you can, but this seems to be a local infection. Uh, it's called cyclosporia. Um, you can have diarrhea for as long as two months. You get flu-like symptoms with this. You can have some abdominal pain and cramping and vomiting. Uh, if you have a persistent diarrhea illness and you go to your doctor, if they do stool testing, uh, they may or may not be aware of this specific organism. You have to specifically ask for it, cyclosporia with a C, cyclosporia infection, and there's a special stain that they'll use in the laboratory. Uh, the CDC is accepting samples, so if your laboratory can't do it, you can send it down to the CDC. Uh, they're using telemedicine now, so your local lab uh, can take a sample and do a stain and take a picture and actually send that to the CDC and the docs down to the CDC will help uh, them to identify this particular oversight and it's a little round circle and it's got two little hooks in it that are the two uh, infectious parasites that are released but that's again after seven or ten days in the water. Uh, if something new happens that's interesting I'll let you know but if you want to just google cyclospora infection and you're going to find updated information uh, the CDC website cdc.gov is a great place to get updates as well. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks. Thanks.